How do you know if your ex still has feelings for you? In this video, I'm going to be talking about seven signs that your ex still has feelings for you. And stick around to the end because I'm going to be sharing with you a surprise twist that will kind of reveal how your ex might still have feelings for you, even if it seems like they don't. My name is Clay. This is the Relationship Inner Game channel, and we help people get results in dating and relationships without BS or mind games. If at any time during this video you like what we're doing, please feel free to subscribe to the channel or leave a comment down below. Okay, so the first sign that your ex still has feelings for you is if they take an interest in your life. Now the people in our lives take up mental real estate. We don't really keep up to date on everyone that we know. We only keep up to date on the people that we actually care about. So if your ex is keeping up to date on things that are going on in your life, if they're asking questions or following up or wanting to know, hey, how did that presentation go? Or hey, how did that exam go at school? Or something like that. Then those are a good sign that your ex actually still has feelings for you because they're thinking about you. They're wanting to know how your life is turning out. That's the first sign that your ex still has feelings. The second sign is that they inconvenience themselves for you. So they might go out of their way to help you in some way. They might maybe help you move, or they might offer to drive you to a place. They might have a conversation with you when you're feeling down, or they might offer to review your work if you're working on some sort of project or something like that. If your ex is willing to go out of their way to help you in some way, then that means that they care about you. That means that they are willing to take you into their life and devote some time, some energy, some emotional um, experience towards being there with you. Okay, that's definitely a strong sign that they still have feelings for you. The third sign is if they cut you some slack, right? We all make mistakes. And if maybe you agreed to do something with them at a certain time, but maybe you forgot the time and you thought it was five o'clock, but it was really four o'clock or something like that, and they're willing to cut you some slack, then that's a good sign that they still care about you. They're not willing to just write you off because you made a mistake. The, you know, if, if, if something like that happens, then it's a strong sign that they're willing to be a little bit lenient. They're willing to be a little bit more forgiving. They're willing to give you another shot. That's a very good sign that your ex still has feelings for you, maybe even likes you, okay? Because they're willing to go out of their way to continue to keep you in their life. The next sign is if your ex keeps conversations going, they keep interactions going, they kind of draw things out a little bit longer than they need to go, or they kind of keep texting you and keep the dynamic going. Um, that's a very good sign that your ex still has feelings for you because they actually enjoy interacting with you to the point where they want to continue letting things unfold. Now obviously that means that they feel a positive emotional experience towards you. But you know, even if they have a negative emotional experience and they're willing to engage with you on something where they're feeling upset, where they're angry at you, um, they're maybe even uh, resentful towards you. If they're willing to engage in that and have that discussion with you, have that conversation with you, that means that they still have feelings for you. Now the next sign that your ex has feelings for you is if they're willing to take things beyond the platonic level. If they're willing to go beyond just talking about things in a friendly sort of way. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that you really don't need to worry about the friend zone, but oftentimes people's exes will try to keep things from going past the platonic level because they don't want to give their ex false hope. So your ex probably doesn't know exactly how they feel about you. They probably don't know if they want to get back together with you right now. And so because they're uncertain about how the two of you fit into each other's lives, they don't want to lead you on until they have that degree of certainty. So oftentimes your ex will try to avoid giving you false hope. But if your ex is willing to flirt with you, if they're willing to go beyond Platonic, if they're willing to talk about, you know, hey, maybe you should come back to my place, or, uh, you know, maybe we can talk about getting back together in a year's time, or something like that. Then that means that they're, they're not concerned about this false hope thing because there's a part of their mind that sees you as being in a relationship together with them again, and they're not afraid to cross that line. Okay, so there's definitely a lot of feelings still there in that circumstance. The sixth sign that your ex still has feelings for you is if they're making plans in the future and you 
are in them. Okay, so this means that your ex is mentally thinking about the future. They're thinking about things that are going to happen in the future, maybe things they're going to go to, shows, concerts, movies, dates, hikes, whatever, and they're seeing you in that picture. This means that you, mentally speaking, are a part of their future. They're seeing a future and you are in it. That means that they want to bring you into their future. Okay, and this means that they still have very strong feelings for you. This means that they maybe even want to get back together with you. This means that you hold a place in their future, at least mentally speaking. Okay, and that's a very good sign because it means that that they care about you enough to keep you in their life, or at least consider keeping you in their life. And the very last sign that your ex still has feelings for you is that they have a lot of strong emotional reactions towards you. And of course, the hot side of things where, you know, hey, let's get together, let's go meet up, let's, hey, I, I think I love you again, I'm not sure, my feelings are kind of strange, but I think I'm starting to warm up, I think I felt a butterfly. Of course, all of that stuff is a strong sign that your ex wants you back. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, your ex might have very strong negative emotions towards you. And this is a strong sign that they really do have feelings for you because they're responding in an irrationally negative sort of way. They might say things like, oh, I never cared about you. Oh, our relation, I never fell in love with you. You were a jerk the whole time, right? Now, obviously that's not true. If the two of you were in a relationship, they obviously cared about you. Otherwise they wouldn't have gotten into the relationship in the first place. And obviously you weren't a jerk the whole time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have gotten together with you because nobody wants to be in a relationship with somebody who's a jerk, right? If your ex has these irrationally strong away from emotions towards you, that's a very good sign that your ex still has feelings towards you. They're just masking these positive feelings behind a kind of puffed up suit of armor that makes them seem impenetrable. Like, ha ha, I never cared because I never loved you in the first place or something, you know, stuff like that. It's obviously not true. That's how it can seem like your ex might not care about you, but really they still care about you a lot. So I hope this helped you out. I hope this gave you some ideas about whether or not your ex has feelings for you. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel. And please go ahead and check out our website, relationshipinnergame.com. Anyway, this has been Clay. Talk to you in the next video. Take care.